Hello, and welcome to Choose the Day Talks. Yes, I'm bringing back the classic series that is, because I thought it would be really nice to have a little sit down, a little catch up, and update you on some things, because there are some videos in the works that are slightly bigger edits than may be expected. And also because I'm finally doing something that I have dreamt of doing pretty much for the last 16 years and never had the ability to actually do it in the way that traditional signed artists do it. And that is make a fully produced studio album. Now, I know I've released Lone Wolf in 2019 and I released Songbook Volume 1 December um, 2021 and then Songbook Volume 2 February 2022. All of those are produced, as it were. Obviously, Songbook is purely acoustic, live takes. Um, but uh, Lone Wolf, although, yes, it sounds like it's a full band in a room, it was pieced together over a road trip around the US of A and I did a lot of it at home and I did a lot of it in other people's studios, home studios. Um, so I thought for my actual debut studio album, it would be amazing to actually have time. And well, I found the right studio and I found the right producer. So I am working with Pau Romero in Barcelona and we are five days in, like, it's, it, I, I can't tell you what a different workflow it is to how I usually um, go about doing things, about going about music, and it feels much more in the classic realm of sitting in a studio, sitting with the songs, giving yourself time, it's not about um, okay, we have five days in the studio and therefore we have five days to make an album, it's about like, okay, We've got five days at the moment, and then we'll need more days. We've got three more days booked next month, and then um, a few more days in the diary over the next few months. And we don't have an end date, which in one way is amazing, and in another way gives me anxiety, um, because you guys know how I work. Sometimes I like to, well, create something and upload it immediately, and I love sharing uh, musical videos with you that way. So this is a much longer project and it's taking some getting used to, but it's also a very um, enlightening process. So I just wanted to tell you about that because it's, it's a big deal. It's a really big deal being a completely unsigned, completely independent artist. And because of this YouTube channel, I've, I'm, I'm now able to make a studio album that, you know, traditional artists, they, they disappear for six months to a year or two years to go and create. And I'm going to be doing it in public. Um, obviously, there are things that I want to talk through with you about that, because if there are other artists out there who don't have a manager, don't have a record label, um, uh, discovering how difficult it is to make an album, how expensive it is as well, um, and how much time you need it's it's um it's a, a tough lesson to learn and that's why i've never been able to do it before you know i'm 16 years into my career i'm 31 um well 16 years of being a singer songwriter i could hardly say most of those years were were, were career orientated but yeah it's just taken a long time to get here and there are there are two ways that i've gotten here well three obviously so the youtube channel I've been making videos for five years now, properly, as a music YouTuber, um, showing you the process of singer-songwriting. And through that, I have built up um, a very, very loyal, small audience. And this is a, a topic for another video, but, you know, the true fans element. Some of you will like just watching my videos, like just hearing me, me talk. Others will also like my original music, which I know is not for everyone, but I know that obviously I've got a little fan base there too. And with my Patreon page, that is what I'm focusing on. My Patreon supporters are basically my record label. You know, they give me the ability to ask questions, discover whether or not they like songs. Um, and just, just now I actually uploaded a, a demo of a very, very new song 
just a voice memo and I can't I just can't wait to read the comments and get some feedback on it. Then uh, we have made well while I was in the studio I documented every single day and every single process with POW and yeah there are five episodes now up on Nebula uh, an episode per day so five episodes so that's almost I think it's almost 50 minutes of content and I just thought because I'm learning how to make an album right like I've never done this before um, so I thought you could learn along with me and Nebula is the perfect place for that because well it's where videos that wouldn't work on YouTube work um, and again my true fans who want to see more about that and all the other exclusive stuff too remember there's the songbook documentary up there as well um, but yeah so Patreon's much more sort of community driven audio I'm doing this personal podcast now as well and images and you know they get priority of Q&A and everything and then Nebula is actually where I host the videos because Patreon doesn't have its version of that um, and I like having everything in one place so I'll obviously put all the information about that yeah they agree um, all the information about that in the description below but that's how I'm actually making this record so again for anyone out there who's learning about this they're discovering that they need a social media uh, audience to be able to make the original music that they actually want to make well this is the way I'm doing it I'm trying to build a blueprint not just for myself but for other musicians too as to how the hell we can manage to keep up with major label artists who have funding and marketing at their fingertips when we don't um, so this is a way around it this is a way around to actually have the ability to make the music that you need to be making as well um, so I'm quite excited that you know I have the ability to also sit here and write some of the music obviously I'd still love to go on tour one day but maybe I wouldn't go consecutive date wise um, however saying that I have no dates in the diary so any booking agents out there hey get in touch um, what else what else I was explaining yeah Nebula Patreon I made notes because I'm a professional um, and yeah this is just I just sort of thought this is the difference between starting a crowdfunder which I've never done and I fully understand why artists need to do that sometimes but I much like I'd much prefer the ongoing relationship style thing yeah I just I don't want it just to be a, like a flash in the pan thing you know I'm I'm trying to be um, relatively consistent over the last few years with all my content and yeah anyway I digress I really hope you're all well um, I hope the sun is shining wherever you are it looks like it's about to rain now and um, yeah completely off topic I do actually have a new proof of sweat video up on the proof of sweat channel some of you might be wondering <laughs> if I'm getting too distracted by cycling but um, no I'm I'm still making videos still making music still working very very hard still in the studio but um, we all need that physical exercise outlet and cycling is that for me so if you want to learn a little bit more about how I got into it what I'm doing how I'm going about it then there is a video up on Proof of Sweat too but thank you very much for watching this very informal candid video and I'll be seeing you very very soon <laughs>